I'd say the target audience that I have is people who aren't going to be wanting to manually install Nextcloud. It's not that they can't, it's just that it's probably hard and that's where projects like Nextcloud Pi sound like it's going to be perfect for them, where they can easily set it up themselves and just roll into it right away with a little bit less uh, difficulty and less friction. Um, frankly, I'm in that group as well a lot of times. Really? Um, like setting it up manually would probably be a lot harder for me versus using something like Nextcloud Pi. Let me ask you a question. Would yes. you be willing to basically start up a VPS on like DigitalOcean and install yes. Nextcloud on it? That's something you'd want to do? Yes. Um, it's actually something I need to do because I promised my community eventually I would do that. <laughs> would you set it up on a dying DNS service? Would you use it at your own domain? I would use it on my own domain. The nice, one of the nice things about this project is nothing stops you from sort of distributing it out and you can always have something like um, you could run a, say you run a server and you run it on the DigitalOcean and you have it at your domain.com. That's fine. Nothing stops you from running, say, an additional instance that you're hosting out of your home through WireGuard or something, and okay. you've never exposed this public internet. And you can have all these things running in together, and people who are only accessing publicly don't know about the WireGuard instance, and that could be fine. Or you could have a WireGuard in addition for people who want to connect that way. It's a lot right. of flexibility. I think for me, if I was to use it privately internally, I would definitely go like the tail scale route, personally. Totally. Because, I mean, that's currently what I do with my NAS at home, mm -hmm. is I just connect via TailScale, and I could already set that up, probably with the NextCloud instance as well. But the thing is, um, I would like to set it up on the domain, because that's something that... Here's the context. It's pretty embarrassing. I made this uh, playlist on uh -huh. YouTube. It's called NextCloud Made Easy. Okay. And the concept was, I'm going to go through the different ways that you can set up NextCloud to make uh -huh. it as easy as possible for people. Well, after I put out the first video, and I put, like, the time together for the project. I got hit with two other huge projects the week later, oh, okay. which were surprise projects. And so the whole project has just been abandoned since then. And everyone's like, so when are the next videos going to come out? Oh. <laughs> so um, one of those would be like a tail scale setup that I wanted to do. But pretty much the goal on my end would be to explore different avenues of trying to set up Nextcloud and show people the different possibilities you have. Because there's like a million different ways that you can use Nextcloud in your life. There's definitely not like one or two ways. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah. At least based on what I've been able to read. Yeah, yeah. Nextcloud Pi is good is good in this use case specifically, and I have done it. So I, I'm you basically you can set up Nextcloud Pi locally as you would on your network, right? And then all you have to do is add in tail scale access and boom, Bob's your uncle. You can connect that way, no problem whatsoever. So fucking cool. And um, tail yeah. scale makes things so simple. Yeah, and you can also um, plug in, you could also use something like Molvad as well if you wanted.